This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. So Meta yesterday released Segment Anything model, which is a new AI model that can cut out any object in any image with a single click. So it is a promptable segmentation system with zero shot generalization to unfamiliar objects and images without the need for additional training. And the best part is this model is already available in their GitHub. So you can actually download the model and try it for yourself. They also have and they also have released the data set. They also have a demo page over here where you can actually try out some of their images, right? For example, maybe I will try out this image and see it can actually do the segmentation on this image. It is able to segment the various uh, objects in this image, the regions in this image. See when I click on this. I can segment it out and I can remove, uh, you know, uh, this area basically, right? And here you have things like box, draw a box around an object, maybe around this. Let's see what happens. You can refine by adding or subtracting points and then it is able to actually do the segmentation. So I thought I will upload some of my images to see, you know, what kind of uh, image uh, segmentation it does, right? So I was interested in medical images. So maybe I will try this CT abdomen. Let's see whether it is able to do on this image. Yes. Wow. It is able to do segmentation. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it is able to segment some of the regions in this particular image. This is the liver, I assume. These are some intestinal regions, right? I'm kind of amazed with this uh, segmentation. Yeah, as they say, it is segment anything, right? Yeah, so it is able to segment uh, quite well over here, right? So let's try out another image to continue with our medical uh, this thing. Uh, okay, CT abdomen cross section. Let's see over here what happens. Is extracting an image. Mm, no, here I'm not sure why it is not able to extract. Okay, maybe I can add mask. Um, wait, what does everything do over here? Each point in the grid. Let's see. Final. Ah, nice. Nice, it has segmented some of the regions. Uh, this should be one region actually. I'm not sure why it's not segmented this separate region as one object or has it? Not seeing it, but it has segmented some of these regions. Okay. Let's try with another image of an EMRI. It's doing it quite fast and this is running on the browser. So it's quite fast. Okay, so here you have this. Ah, nice. Able to do this segmentation. It is able to, in this case, yes, point out some of the specific regions. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. So let's try out some different images now that we have done enough of. Uh, okay, maybe one more image, medical image. Uh, idea is I want to segment the vertebral regions in the spine. Good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, but in some cases it goes for, I'm not sure why it selects the entire this thing. Okay, maybe I just want to select. Yeah, why? I don't know. Sam is running in the browser. Okay. So maybe one more different image of say, Let's see. Yeah, let's see what kind of segmentation it does over here. A drone image of a city. Hmm. This whole building should come as one, this thing. Yeah. Okay. This is out on certain regions here. I'm not sure why. This is another building. Another building. Another building. Nice. Let's see if it can go to. The yes, even the vehicles right on the road. This is quite interesting. It does very good segmentation, I would say. This whole thing is one region. Let's see, 
it comes up trees water yeah this is quite good let me see one more image with lots of objects yeah so can we use this for counting a uh, number of vehicles at any point of time on the road right uh to estimate traffic density good it does good job over here as well you know yeah so if you can output the masks from this you can actually count the density of vehicles on this road right so i'm quite impressed with the performance of segment anything uh i have tried out various uh, examples image on you know example images of mine they also have a lot of images of theirs to actually test out for example this thing so you can actually test it out over here on their images as well right the model is already released um so you can actually try out with the code as well for yourself so now let us look into what is behind this model right uh, so they have their blog over here uh, where they talk about uh, their model okay so what they have is an image encoder right and when i looked into the paper the image encoder is uh, vit vision image transformer right and then they have which generates image embeddings right then they have a prompt encoder which can encode various prompts like points box or text right so you can have bounding boxes or you can have a single point in the image or you can have text a text could be something like you know in this case scissors in the image right and then it tries to segment the scissors right so there is a prompt encoder and then there is a lightweight mask decoder okay you can also have a mask as a prompt right and based on that it actually segments the images this is at a very high level what i have explained as the model architecture uh, the details are present over here in the paper so here they have explained the model yeah segment uh, heavyweight image encoder outputs an image embedding that can be efficiently queried by variety of input prompts to produce object mask at amortized real time speed okay for ambiguous prompts corresponding to more than one object sam can output multiple valid masks and associated confidence scores so here the image encoder they say is a mae pre trained vision transformer okay uh, the image encoder only runs once per image and can be applied prior to prompting the model then there is a prompt encoder we consider two set of prompts parse which basically points boxes and text and dense masks uh we represent points and boxes by positional embedding summed with learning embeddings for each prompt type and free from text with an off the shelf text encoder from clip dense prompts are embedded using convolutions and summed element wise with image embedding so this is the prompt encoder they have a mask decoder the mask decoder efficiently maps the image embedding prompt embeddings output token to a mask so this employs a modification of transformer decoder block followed by a dynamic mask prediction head uh the modified decoder uses prompt self attention and cross attention in two directions prompt to image embedding and vice versa and updates all embeddings after running two blocks we upsample the image embedding and an mlp maps the output token to a dynamic linear classifier which computes the mask foreground probability at each image location so this is the mask decoder part of it how they are doing mask decoding okay and then they also have a, a resolving ambiguity so you could have multiple masks coming out uh, so uh, three mask output is sufficient to address most common cases of nested masks uh, we back what do they say over here uh, to rank the mask we model predicts a confidence score okay uh, the efficiency is that given a pre computed image embedding the prompt encoder and mask decoder run in a web browser on cpu in 50 less than 50 milliseconds or close to 50 milliseconds so this is quite quite good actually okay and for mask prediction they use a linear combination of focal loss and dice loss this is at a very high level i am not going into details over here right so i will link in this paper and you can read through this paper um so what how could they achieve this so they could achieve this because they could do uh, you know uh, they said that the idea of prompt from nlp to segmentation where a prompt can be set of foreground background points or rough box or mask free from text or in general any information indicating what to segment an image 
they call this as a promptable segmentation task uh, the promptable segmentation task is to return a valid segmentation mask given any prompt now prompt can be uh, you know text it could be a bounding box or a mask or it could be just a background point in the image so that is how they define this task right uh, so because it leads to a natural pre-training algorithm and a general method for zero shot transfer to downstream segmentation tasks via prompting so that is why they choose this task so for pre-training what they did is that uh, uh, what is the pre-training over here the pre-training algorithm simulates a sequence of prompts for each training sample okay given an image you can have points in the image you can have certain bounding boxes you can have certain masks right and then what they did was they trained this network to actually predict the uh, you know valid mass and then they compare it with the ground truth okay so this is a pre-training which they did so so what they are saying is that they adapted this method from uh, interactive segmentation so they simulate various points boxes masks for each image and compare the models mass predictions against the ground truth okay so this was their pre-training once they do pre-training pre like this then they can do zero shot transfer okay so that is what is explained over here so this is quite uh, nice they also collected a huge data set okay uh, so if you look at their uh, data set details uh, i think somewhere it was present over here they had 11 million images and 1 billion plus masks so they created uh, this data set of more than 1.1 billion segmentation masks collected on approximately 11 million licensed and privacy preserving images and you can download the full data set as well so this is quite um, you know uh, inspiring work from meta ai in that they have released the model they have not closed sourced it um, basically the model is also released the data set is also released which you can try so yeah uh, and here they have given some examples of uh, you know what can be done in terms of zero shot generalization right what objects are uh, it has learned a general notion of what objects are so it enables zero shot segmentation to unfamiliar objects and images without requiring additional training which is quite good uh, extensible outputs output masks can be used as inputs to other ai systems so for example object mask can be tracked in videos enabling image editing ap applications to be lifted to 3d so you can do different things with these masks right it can take input prompts from other systems such as in the future taking a user's gaze from an ar vr headset to select an object okay so you can have an ar vr um, what you call headset and you can just gaze onto some object and it can segment it in that image so that's the use case here you can also give bounding prompts from an object detector uh, which can enable text to object segmentation right uh, then you can do uh, interactive points and boxes so you can um, you know point out certain points and based on that it will do the segmentation it can automatically segment everything in an image generate multiple valid masks for ambiguous prompts so it's quite promising uh, I suggest that you can actually look at the code, uh, you know, you can uh, download the code and try it out. I will also be trying it out to see how it works and maybe I will make a video on that. So this was a short video on segment anything model from Meta AI. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. I will be putting the link of this blog along with the links to the code and the paper in the description of the video. See you in another video.